Welcome back to Tiger Jam Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with yet another video. And this time, I want to talk to you about should you pre-order figures, video games, toys, or should you just wait and see if you get a deal? So I'm gonna be honest with you. I do both. So I'm gonna share with you the pluses and minuses of waiting to buy, and the pluses and minuses of pre-ordering. First off, I'm going to show you how I get a deal. So the first reason why I wait to order or not pre-order is to get a deal. And I'm going to be honest, it's stuff that I could kind of live without. And I'll show you a couple of these items. So I waited to get the fans toys version of Springer because I think x -Trans Boss is going to be better. I think x -Trans Boss is going to transform easier than this one. x -Trans Boss is going to look better in all three modes. and it's going to be my favorite and everyone's favorite in the end but fans toys is such a strong company with a strong reputation and such a strong following that if i don't like x transbots when it comes out tracking down this guy is going to be hard so what i did is i got this i waited and i got this guy on a sale for an ebay seller then i used the 15 percent off coupon and there it goes. Now I've got three other Springers, but this one is currently my favorite. I know X-Trans is going to beat them. Next uh, thing I want to show is that Unique Toys Buzzing came out at 130. I never bought them. I waited two years after he came out, and then I decided, ah, I guess I want them because the Titan Returns one was okay, but the coloring was way off, and then the size was way off, and then in the end, I'm not a Chug collector at heart, I'm a masterpiece collector. So I went ahead and got this guy and I got him and then he was revised with, with a clear chest, which I think is cool. And I got him for like $89 shipped. Uh, I don't know if you get him for that now, but waiting paid off on that guy. Lastly, I'm gonna say that the x Transbots Ollie is going to fit on both ends of the spectrum, whether you wait, you pre-order or you wait. If you pre-order this guy, and you got him right away for the 70, 75 bucks. He's got issues on version one. This is version one. I've got version two pre-ordered. Yes, I pre-ordered that one. And uh, he's got a lot of fixes to it. But this is by far the best looking version of this guy you'll ever get. x -Trans Boss is uh, my favorite company uh, fighting with fans toys every day. And my version one actually doesn't have that many flaws. It actually, uh, the version two, I'm looking to see if it's any better. I think they'll be about the same. So the second one reason that I say you should wait instead of pre-ordering, and I'm, I'm not talking wait till it's released. I'm talking wait till it's been out for a while, is you get reviews. Now, you get reviews of figures like this constructor here, and you're going to find that this constructor, uh, I didn't like the way he looked when he originally came out. So that's one thing. And I think down the road I'll talk about revisions, but this one has the G1 head, the green thighs, everything looks more G1. The only thing it's missing, it needs some uh, side fillers. That just is too skinny to be G1. And I'm not at all anywhere near an IDW or uh, shattered kind of universe nonsense. I want G1 as G1 as they get. And this thing is as close as you're gonna get to a Masterpiece G1, uh, one of these guys. But instead of spending 600 bucks, which is if you bought each bot when they came out, I got him for 350 or, I mean, if you can look at this, and I'm not plugging Dollar's Vintage Toys because uh, I'm not, but can you see that, 320? And then they shipped it for me and all that stuff. So I had to pay a couple extra bucks for shipping. But anyway, uh, to like 350. The other one thing I want to talk about with reviewers is so I don't really review figures as in Transformer and review them. I do comparisons, I do collection videos, and I also talk about what I like and what I don't like. So I do reviews in a way, but nothing like these reviewers that get these things way in the hands. And I'm a I lag the market. I am one of the last people to get the figures because I want to get them at a deal. I'm a budget collector in a way. If you watch other my other videos, you think, well, how are you a budget collector if you have so many? But that's how I have so many because I'm a budget collector. But when you look at the reviewers, most of the people that get the test shots early, they get a, a figure that 
is not complete. B, they get they are more positive to the people that send it to them. So some of the things, and I've seen some reviewers, if you ever had the Omnibox, Omnigonic spin out, and the reviewer that reviewed that uh, was so talented with the way he handled it, he made it look like a good figure. If you were to watch that, you'd think, what's he talking about? It's a good figure. But he did point out the negatives. But he handled it so well, it looked good. So the next thing I want to point out is to get it used. So, yes, I got this guy like 50 bucks used. And I know why, because the dude went and got the second revision. And I was like, oh, cool, instead of 70, or initially, I get him for 50, but now he's selling for 150. And I, when I watch for something, I watch it um, so close as soon as it's listed. Within five minutes, I've bought it. So, uh, this guy here, too, uh, I, I got him used. Now, he's got a foot peg issue. I can fix that. But these things are metal die cast. And so they're not going to hold in place very well. Until, unless you put it on camera. <laughs> but yeah, um, you get some stuff used. And you can get a little bit cheaper, uh, especially if people have kind of worn it out and they know it's not brand new condition. You might get a deal on it. So the next point I want to talk about is uh, apologize if there's some shaky cam, which you're going to have shaky cam here. I'm sorry. This is just 10 foot in the air, so eh, 7 foot, whatever. But uh, if you wait, instead of pre-ordering everything that comes out, I almost bought that Year of the Snake or whatever uh, version, uh, Cybertron game version of Omega Supreme. And I said, no, eventually you're going to get one that I'm happy with. I wasn't happy with that. I didn't get it right away. I waited. And we're talking I waited five more years, maybe seven more years. I don't know. Time flies nowadays to get this thing. But you know what? This I'm happy with. If I had the other one and spent $200 on it, I spent $235 on this. If I spent $200 on the other one, I would be so upset with myself. So, yeah, I mean, I made a good decision. But I've made bad decisions also, and you'll see those in a little bit. Next, I want to talk about the video game fans. You pre-order systems. If you do not get the hardware at a pre-order, then you, you're you going to be out, right? But then again, I, it's both ways. So you're going to see it on both ends with hardware because I got this bad boy for less than 200 bucks six months after it was released. And I also pre-ordered one and paid the 330 after tax. But this guy here got it on the low firmware so it could be modded and all the fun stuff. And it was a specialty one that actually cost more. And I got it for like 175 So waiting helped me out with this one, even though I didn't really wait because I had one already. So the last point I want to make about not pre-ordering is uh, because the long wait from the time you pre-order it Third parties, so this is obviously the official, but third party uh, fans of Hoodlum came out and actually some sites were letting you pre-order him, oddly enough, two years ago. And he's still not due out till December or January. And so here we go two and a half years till you get that call on that pre-order. And you're excited, but here you are, either you skip this guy or you skip the second version of this guy. Or you skip, but they'll probably put out a third version that's in tune color, more tune colors. Or you have an empty hole on your shelf. Or you put a G1 figure. I guess you can put a G1 figure. Or you just do what I do and put uh, MP09. So we're going to move into the next section of this video. We're going to move a lot faster. And so one of the things that you talk about pre-orders and why it's good to pre-order is because things can sell out and cost you more down the road, you know? So uh, they can sell out. Uh, that's not what this guy's all about, actually. But this guy here, sold out, sold out, sold out. And I'm going to show you that uh, this guy here, sold out. Now, if you go on eBay and you look up X Transbots Boost, X Boost, Hatch Boost, Boost Hatch, Boost Hatch, uh, X Transbots Ollie, X Transbot uh, Bad Cubes Grump, and then Fans Toys. FT14, Kickback, uh, Forager. Those all have gone through the roof. And I'm talking like, I sold my first one of him for 300 bucks on eBay. And I didn't, I was the only one I had. And it's kind of another idea. Like if you have these figures that go triple, quadruple the value, 
Do you sell them and wait for the re-release? Because you know the you trust there's going to be a release. So for you video game fans, obviously, this thing was sold out. And what uh, GameStop did was made you bundle a $500 bundle to buy this. And you bought games, accessories, and stuff that you didn't want to get this guy. And, I, well, I didn't have that problem because I pre-ordered it in, like, August for a January or March release or whatever. I was waiting six months for this bad boy. And I, it didn't bother me. So one of my things that I do to make things more affordable is I may wait for it to release and then sit there and watch. Maybe I could live without an Ollie or without a bug bot or without any of these guys. One of the things that third party companies do is they raise the price. And I didn't realize this until I was actually, uh, well, I was kind of playing a game of Russian roulette with these guys. And what I did was uh, waited and waited and waited. And all of a sudden, they all went out of stock, but they, I knew they still had some. And I was looking on eBay and I clicked on something and I was like, that's still like twice what it should be. And it turned out it was TF Source. Now, TF Source has the eBay page. So if. It goes out of stock on their page. That doesn't mean they're out. That just means they throw it onto their eBay page. And of course, you're going to pay the 15% um, extra because of the fees on eBay. Plus, you're going to pay the addition, the additional amount because of the secondary market. And uh, if you see something you like and you really love it, well, you know what? I do both these. I pre-order and I wait for a deal, depending on how much I like the character. So the other thing I want to talk about is pre-order discounts, and the reason I want to talk about pre-order discounts is because of the fact that uh, I like the X Transbots version of Springer, and I think they call it uh, vir Virtuous. Virtuous. X. Uh, that's a pretty good name for them. Versus Apache, Apache Helicopter. Uh, uh, this is the fan toys version. But I really think that that one, you know, I can get five bucks off of it. But I got this guy for one ten. But I could get the other one for 125 if I pre-ordered it, and I didn't pre-order it, even though that's the one I want the most. And the reason that I didn't, and here's why, because there are so many Springer options. There's so many people that are already happy with this guy. There's so many people happy with Open and Big Play. There's so many people that are, oddly enough, happy with the uh, gigantic, weird-looking... Uh, uh, version that came out with unique toys i have that one and i have actually all three of those and i don't want to sell either any of them because i like them for different reasons um but we'll get into that later in a different video but anyway uh if you do pre-order you can get the pre-order discounts i'm aware of amazon japan i'm aware of uh ordering through uh what is it robot kingdom and then getting the you order enough things that the shipping is almost a dollar more for each item. So you pay that additional or initial $28 shipping. But then you pay, you buy five more things and it's only five more dollars. And then you spread it out across all items and it looks like it's really good deal. So the next thing I want to talk about is the pre-order notifications. And so we live our lives and collecting is only a small part of our lives, right? So with that as a small part of our lives, then we can also say that maybe uh, when you have to go to work and you have kids and you have family and you have all these obligations going on and you've pre-ordered something, you forgot you even pre-ordered it. And if you were trying to do one of the wait and see things, that the, the item may come in stock and go out faster than you realize and you're stuck paying secondary market prices instead of paying, uh, you know, instead of paying 70, you're paying 150 then you could uh, essentially the pre-order lets you know it's in stock you get it and you don't miss out and you know i get the pre-order notification that can be a good and a bad thing the pre-order not notification could come up and you can go oh my gosh i forgot i pre-ordered it there because i got a better deal over here and then the the one that's not so bad because you can quickly go cancel it and not pay it on your paypal but the ones that require the 100 percent paid and you're paying 165 for this guy but yet TF Source gets them for 150, or Show Z gets them for 135, or TF Direct gets them for 130, and so that's another issue. By the way, Apollyon was completely destroyed. That is a good example of I pre-ordered this guy a long time ago, and I'm in the the why you should pre-order. But I pre-ordered him, paid 150. You can't get 50 or 80 bucks. We well, get about 80 or 90 bucks out of him now. I think down the road you'll get your 150 back out of him in about 10 years, but. Because uh, he is a pretty cool figure. 
But the problem is the fact that you don't know what's coming out next that could destroy him. You could have a uh, MP36 destroy him. So next, I want to talk about these uh, video games here. Two of pretty much the same game, and I want to talk. I did not pre-order this guy. I paid seventeen dollars for him. I went ahead and got it off Amazon, seventeen bucks, and I paid what I think is a good price. I mean, uh, you can get them now for like six bucks, and then I but I paid eighty for that one. What did I get out of this one that I didn't get out of that one? Well, the beta, and I really misunderstood. Anybody could have played the beta for free, so that was a wash. And then I could I fought my second copy of this game three months later for a dollar at a garage sale. So, I mean, I know there was a lot of stuff going on with Star Wars Battlefront 2, but in the end, I did not feel like this was worth 80 bucks. And I still play it every single day with my brother online, but I don't think it's worth 80 bucks. I was really disappointed that I wasted that money. So pre-ordering this sucked the way I did. This was the right way to do it. I don't know if you noticed this guy. I put this in here on purpose because when I was a kid, my grandma was from uh, Germany originally, and she, I guess, migrated over here or whatever. These are Kinder Joy eggs. They're no longer Kinder eggs because uh, when I was a kid, they were eggs, and then on the outside they had the chocolate and all that wonderful stuff. Now it's split into two halves. Half of it's a toy, and then well, you don't see the other half. The other half is uh, chocolate that the kids can eat with a little spoon. So these are cool. They're like one a dollar thirty-five. I think when I was a kid, they were a quarter. So they've gone up quite a bit in price, but they're still fun. My kids get a lot of joy out of it, and we got them from Sam's in a box. The next thing I want to talk about is all these guys. So, uh, I'm showing you these guys, and if you're looking at this and going, man, I wish I had those figures. Man, I wish I had those figures. Well, I'm going to tell you a release schedule, a re-release schedule for them and a price. So, uh, I've seen this guy up for re-release on BBTS already. He's been re-released on BBTS, and he'll be up for re-release again. So, if you don't have him yet, don't spend 250 bucks on him. He's a cool figure, and he looks great, and there's no other company trying to do him bad cube gears he's up for re-release on show z s-h-o-w-z if you've never been to that site that's an awesome site got them pre-ordered you actually can whatever your pre-order is i'll match it on and double down on it this guy here is also on show z and also on tf direct also on a couple other sites but uh, I, I'm doing show Z because I think the price is going to be better but they don't they show they say they don't know the price that gets a bit scary I still pre-order it anyway I, I, I roll my dice on my 50 cents or a dollar or whatever and that's all they ask for a pre-order now this guy here is ah uh, stand up this one here I don't have any information on a pre-order uh, re-release or anything and so with him uh Man, this is a scary roll of the dice. This is my second version I've owned. The first one was sealed, and I sold it for 300 This guy was already opened, so I felt much better manipulating him and playing around with him, and I got him for like 150 That's still almost double what he releases for like $89. So uh, anyway, uh, this video is running a little bit long. I want everybody to like, subscribe, tell me what you think, give me some feedback. I love to respond to comments. Today I'm going to hang around.